Queen Heartbreak, Queen's touching reaction to portrait exposes deep wish for a royal future. The Queen has been honored with a new portrait celebrating her enduring links to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office FCO and her touching reaction to the painting reveals her one deep wish for the future. Queen Elizabeth II, 94, became the first ever British sovereign to watch a royal portrait unveiled via video link this week as she was shown a painting commissioned by the FCO in her honor for the first time. The striking portrait by artist Miriam S. Coffey shows the Queen wearing a knee-length blue dress, pearls and low-heeled black shoes as she sits in an ornate gold leaf etched chair with a cup of tea beside her. The artist has two sittings with the Queen, one at Windsor where she spent around half an hour photographing the monarch and the second at Buckingham Palace to focus on her facial expressions. The painting took seven months to finish and was completed during lockdown. The teacup up in the picture holds symbolic meaning as it has FCO painted on the cup to represent the Queen's service to diplomacy. The virtual unveiling was attended by the Queen, Ms. Escoffet and Foreign Office officials via Zoom. During the call, the eagle-eyed Queen praised the luminous portrait and pointed out that there was no tea in the cup. Speaking about the Zoom call afterwards, Ms. Escoffet said, she seemed to react very positively to it. She was smiling, asking how long it took and if I had any more projects on the go after this. When I explained certain elements of the painting, the teacup, she made some amusing comments. She said, but there's no cup, no tea in the cup. I said, I'm afraid the tea has been sacrificed for the symbolism. But the Queen's most revealing comment during the meeting looked ahead in the future. After watching the portrait be unveiled via video conference, the Queen said, I'm glad I've had the chance to see it. I hope I'll see it in real life one day. The Queen is currently sheltering at Windsor Castle with husband Philip due to their age. She carried out her first face-to-face -face engagement months in, on July the 17th when she knighted Sir Tom Moore at 100 in the quadrangle at Windsor Castle. While investiture ceremony were all cancelled during the pandemic, the Queen made a special exception for the 100-year hero who raised £32 million for NHS charities during lockdown. The Queen and Prince Philip, 99, also attended their granddaughter Princess BH's royal wedding that morning, but the couple are unlikely to be seen out and about again any time soon. They are due to leave Windsor Castle for Balmoral in Scotland next month, and it is not yet known if or when the Queen will be returned to Buckingham Palace in London. The Queen and Prince Philip are both at high risk from COVID-19 because of their age and will have to be extremely careful with how they re-enter the public sphere. How the Queen will carry on with the royal duty in post-pandemic world has been discussed by the royal commentators and experts. The Sun's executive editor, Diane Walton, told True Royalty TV, it is said that the Queen cannot go back to Buckingham Palace. It is particularly devastating for the Queen in the twilight years of her life when she wants to keep working. So many things that she loves to do have been taken away from her. She does not want to stay essentially a prisoner at Windsor Castle. It is, unlike, it is highly likely that the Queen will not leave at Buckingham Palace again.